Hello friends, this is Veronica. I'm back to continue my shopping, my shopping my closet challenge. <coughs> oh, and I'm starting to feel sick again. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. I don't know what's going on. Two weeks ago I got sick. I missed two days of not doing videos. <coughs> I was feeling better. Then yesterday I just started coughing again. So something's going on either in my body or in my office. I like to call my uh, cubicle my ice cube because it is freezing, freezing, freezing. Um, I had to bring out my big puffer jacket today. But today the weather's beautiful outside. It is about, um, it's going to be 80 today. So beautiful weather. Anyways, we're going to continue. <coughs> I'm going to get through this as best I can. Apologies for the annoying cough. I am so annoyed. But today's bag is my one and only Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag. I finally got one. Um, you know, again, I started watching YouTube videos about handbags. Not YouTube videos, but handbag YouTube videos in 2020 during the pandemic during lockdown <clears throat> and i started discovering all these bags i kind of stopped following trends even before covid just you know took a break from following trends and such so i started seeing videos about all the new bags and this is one of not this exact bag but the mark jacobs the tote bag <coughs> as soon as i saw it i was like "Ooh, i like that that's my style i and I know a lot of people didn't like that it said the tote, but to me, it was kind of like funny, like, oh, I have to label it the tote. And I was thinking about it, like, where did Mark Jacobs get that idea? Like how, you know, cause he has the tote bag, he has the sack. So he's expanded his line of the bags, whatever the may be. <clears throat> and I was thinking, I wonder if he did it to kind of like be obviously, funny ironic kind of in a mocking way because I don't know if you guys remember it's been a couple years now the whole Ray Dunn craze and I'm thinking I wonder if he did it kind of um as not homage but kind of like um like Ray Dunn had like the cup you know the whatever she didn't have the she just had like labeled everything all her little um ceramics and things were labeled with the name of the <clears throat> item i have one that's a frother i have one that's uh what's the other one i have i don't have a lot of ray dunn things because it's cute but i don't i didn't get into the whole ray dunn craze but anyways i was thinking i wonder if he did it in kind of response to ray dunn i would be like very 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 curious and interest interested to find out but anyways <clears throat> here is my one and only not it's the first but it's definitely not going to be the last mark jacobs tote bag in the monogram denim the official name is like faded De monogram faded denim so as you can see it has repeating um mark jacobs name Let's see where does this here so m it starts here with the m M-A-R-C-O and then his last name Jacobs and it just repeats all around in denim. I found this at the Nina Marcus Last Call <coughs> outlet. That's like their outlet site. I have found a lot of good stuff there. So I went and went in just to look. You know how it is. We just go to look and I saw these two. I did a video so if you guys want to check it out. Um, I saw these two I saw two toe bags. I saw this one, which is the medium size. It's not huge, but it is a little bit on the bigger side. And I saw a canvas, like the tan color, um, small one. <clears throat> I should have bought both. I kind of regret at the time, money wise, I probably could have bought both. But I said, no, you don't need to. Mark Jacobs bag, just buy one. They were both marked down very very affordable very very it was a great deal <clears throat> so anyways I um 
yeah so this is the one and only this one does not say that well it does say on here um on the patch we be able to see that um the patch there so it says Mark Jacobs style, the tote bag, location NYC. So it's basically the same as the other ones. Um, this one just doesn't have the big letters because it has his name all over it, the monograph. And what I liked about it is from afar, you can't, you can't tell what it is. It's just like a design. But then when you get closer, you see that it's Mark Jacobs. <clears throat> the strap, the strap is awesome. It is very, um, you know, adjustable um, you could remove it and I love love the silver hardware on this one yeah and it has like a little bit of the leather on the ends <clears throat> love it um, so if you're familiar with the tote bags from Marc Jacobs one thing I do like about it is the um, the zipper so it has a zipper there closure it's not just an open tote so your stuff's a little more secure um, and then it has this fl uh, flap here and I guess it's for the um, the tail of the zipper that's what I call it the tail of the zipper so your flap can go there and um, does this one have the magnet some of them are magnetic this one i don't think is magnetic but you know if you want to keep it out you could just have your little flap there um spacious very spacious very roomy <clears throat> black um the lining is kind of not shiny but i'm not sure what material it is but very very spacious very roomy it has a pocket a flat <clears throat> with his name there mark <clears throat> mark jacobs there i still have the info there pocket i guess you could do like a card slot there um outside pocket here and then the zipper pocket inside <clears throat> zipper pocket and no other interior pockets um, I think I need to get like one of those organizers because, um, you know, my stuff is kind of just flapping, flop, flip flopping around in there. But I love this bag. I've used it so much since I bought it. It is my absolute favorite, not only because I love the style. <clears throat> I love Marc Jacobs. I love denim. So this really hit a lot of boxes. Denim bag. <clears throat> The style of the tote bag mark jacobs and i got it at like 50 percent off or more around there it was crazy incredible so you guys this is my bag for the day i do have one other mark jacobs that i bought <clears throat> a while back um and i guess i'll share it even though it's not a bag i really use and i've thought about <clears throat> selling it actually i do want to sell it because again i am coming busy busy uh in the parking lot today i've come to terms that i can't keep bags that i'm not gonna use because they need me homes you know us handbag lovers we love bags and we want other people to enjoy them if we're not going to right <clears throat> i apologize if you're hearing all the background noise so i'm done for the day <laughs> mark jacobs doesn't have feet but that's okay love love these totes um i need to get more another one <laughs> i was gonna buy one this year for my birthday which just happened last month but i decided to do this challenge and wait so i think after i'm done with the challenge i'm going to either do a trade or sell some bags and then once that's done i'll go ahead and buy my other bag that i want because i need to get rid i know Julie from Agent Bag Reviews, that was kind of one of her philosophies, one in, one out. If she buys a new bag, she has to get rid of one, so I'm going to do that. There's three for sure that I think need to find new homes. Doesn't mean I'm going to buy three bags, but at least if I get um, those bags out of my closet, then it'll be a little, a little better to bring in another one. So you guys, that's it.
<clears throat> I really think it's being in that cold, cold office that's really messing me up. Because right now I haven't really coughed that much. I'm sitting in my car. It's nice and warm. And um, yeah. So we'll see you guys tomorrow with another bag. Oh, we have to do our our uh, thumbnail moment. Do you guys like this side with the patch? Or just the solid? Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks everyone for watching. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, watch yesterday's video, my last coach bag. That's one of the bags that I'm going to let go. She's a beauty. I know she's a popular one. So leave me a comment. Uh, follow me on Instagram and we could chat some more. Okay, see you guys. Bye.